And so he goes back to Los Angeles and creates the biggest compilation of art that you could possibly pump out. You know, he's making 15 pieces a day. He's like, you know, hired, he's remortgaged his house, he's hired all these people to uh, make art for him, you know. He's basically just ripping it straight out of books and he calls starts calling himself Mr Brainwash. And this is kind of where it starts to get really weird and you realise that the story is not really about Banksy, it's kind of about this guy who's become this overnight street artist. Yeah. Well, it's at this point that uh, Banksy goes. Um, so, you know, I realised this guy was nuts. Um, so I proposed to him that he goes and makes art and I'll actually pull the film together. Uh, and so then the, then the documentary became about Thierry and kind of just goes full 180 uh, back onto the, the videographer and it gets to the the launch of this thing and you know it's absolute chaos you know they're, they're, it seemed like they were probably a couple of hours out from the event he's got about 10,000 pieces of art that he needs to put out in this exhibition so he's and putting he hasn't on got a yeah. one out so he's putting on he puts on an exhibition yeah so he puts on Sorry, it's probably that. the bit we missed yeah he he goes I'll put on an exhibition he gets a quote from Banksy he gets a quote from Shepherd Fairy who he knows and starts to build a shitload of hype around this and and then people turn up and they like they love it you know and little do they know he's just a madman who's just <laughs> scribbling randomly on stuff or he's got like a book of art and he's just taken you know old uh versions of warhols and stuff and like sprayed something on top of them or whatever you know like and people are just loving it, you know, and he starts selling them for 50, 80,000 and all this sort of stuff. And this is kind of the point of the documentary where it's sort of like this guy kind of created himself and everyone just bloody loved it. And well, the, 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 be, the, best, the best bit was if you were one of the first like 50 people through the door, you got your own unique, um, you know, Thierry piece or brainwash piece. Right. And he basically lines up 50 prints. By that point in time, he'd broken his legs. So he was getting wheeled around in a wheelbarrow or some weird. No, he had a weird scooter thing that he was riding around on. And he just lines them all up beside each other and just pours paint on them uh, as he's riding past. Uh, and those were the, the 50 pieces of, of, of art. And they probably weren't too, too far different from the, uh, the other pieces that were a part of the show. So. I guess this is the point that Banksy's kind of trying to get to is like, what is this? What the hell does this mean? What does it mean for my art? What does it mean for art in general that this guy could just go basically make a bunch of shit up that didn't mean anything, not even to him, and create some sort of hype machine to sell and people really enjoy the art? Mm-hmm. 